this is not going to sound very good but if you have a ditching and ditching means landing on water you're not exactly going to be in a swimsuit are you okay so this video is going to be about the Ryanair swim test I did leave you on a bit of a cliffhanger after the last video because I wanted to kind of dedicate a video to this topic I've been asked about it quite a few times actually people have expressed their concerns and their worries to me and you know ask me questions and one of the main things people have asked me is you know how hard is it what does it entail what is involved in this swimming test so I did the swimming test yes, can you believe I still have the folder of where I put all my papers my goodness scratch card airway open passenger airway this is a doctor's ABC danger response send airway breathing my notes this is the first aid stuff this is it. I used to tick off every day as it passed. Yeah, always looking at this piece of paper. So I just want to check what day the uh, swimming test was on. So the swimming test was at the end of week four. It was at 6 a.m. in the morning, local time. 6 to 8 a.m. at the local swimming pool in Germany, in Hahn, where we stayed. So we had to kind of wake up early a bus came to pick us up at the accommodation that we were staying at for our group all 30 of us we got on the bus we got there and we got changed into not swimwear we just wore like leggings and a t-shirt or kind of a waterproof top with you could put your like bikini underneath or you can even wear your underwear uh, for men they wore a t-shirt and I think shorts in fact I'm not that sure as to what men wore but we all had to wear stuff we all had to wear clothes because this is not gonna sound very good but if you have a ditching and ditching means landing on water if you have to land on water you're not exactly gonna be in a swimsuit are you you're gonna be in clothes, you're gonna be in your uniform. So we kind of had to try to copy or simulate that. So we just wore, I remember personally, me, I wore like a, my swimsuit underneath and then I wore a t-shirt, short sleeve t-shirt with my gym leggings. Yeah, they were gym leggings. They were not like the normal leggings. So they were kind of, kind of a hug fit and almost kind of swimming material, but not really. So after we got changed, we then sat at the wall of the swimming pool. I think we got into pairs. We got into pairs because the first exercise, I think, was to save your partner. I think we had to drag our partner, shallow end of the pool, to the deep end of the pool. And this was while wearing a life jacket. So imagine you've had a ditching, you've pulled your life jacket out, you've put it on, inflated it, and of course, you're in the water. Perhaps you have a colleague or one of the passengers cannot swim, whatever. You are then supposed to be somebody who can save them as a cabin crew. So what we had to do is we just had to pull our partner from one end of the pool to the other. And I thought it was going to be a bit hard, but it wasn't because remember you're floating in water. So that makes everything lighter. Even somebody who might be heavy makes them lighter. Both of you are wearing life jackets. So you're able to pull them across, you know, you can float in the deep end when you have a life jacket on it's possible to float you know shallow end deep end you just have to have a little bit of kicking and swimming and moving technique to be able to get from one side to the other now don't quote me on this it was either from the shallow end to the deep end or from the deep end to the shallow end or I think one person brings the other to the one side the other person brings the other to the other side it's just like that you take turns so that's kind of, I think that was like the first exercise. Then after that, we did have to dive in the pool uh, with no life jacket and we had to inflate the life jacket while in there. That was a little bit, oof, a little, a tiny bit scary, mostly because for me, and mostly because I'm not used to diving into the deep end. I am more used to it now, just because I'm kind of into swimming. I was trying to face my fear. Well, a lot before lockdown, I was trying to get myself used to swimming and make sure that I was competent even in the deep end. So I did start diving in the deep end just to kind of 
get myself there so that was the second exercise that we had to do I instruct her through the life jackets into the pool we had to jump in however way however which way you want to whether you dive whether you, like however you jump in jump in because you're not really thinking of technique when you've just had a ditching you jump in you grab the life jacket you inflate it you pull it inflate it you have to try and wear it and then I think you just swim back to the um, I don't I don't think you swim to the other side I think you just do it get in there inflate it and then you come back to the pool side yeah you come to the pool side and that's it that's pretty much that exercise done I think now I'm not sure actually if we actually came out or if we stayed in and then we jumped in the raft the next exercise was all about teamwork what we had to do was we had to this might have been part of the inflating the life jacket i can't remember this one exactly so don't quote me on it i'm just giving you a rough idea just so you know what to expect guys so please do not quote me on this i'm just trying to give you a rough idea what we had to do is we had to use teamwork i think we had to inflate a raft we all had to jump in and then we had to get everybody in the raft so it was they divided us into teams of i think either six or seven or eight now don't quote me on this again they divided us into teams and they made us work together to get everybody okay so what we did was it this was actually part this was actually part of the inflation thing so we had to jump in we all had to jump in first save ourselves and then help save others and then get into the raft is that what you call it raft yes it was an inflatable raft if i can find a picture definitely put it up there not of the exact one but just something similar just to give you a rough idea and we had to work together to support each other to get everybody in there as quick as possible so you first help yourself jump in inflate your life jacket put it on and then you might try to help somebody else there might have been some other activity in there i'm sorry i can't remember exactly what it was because it has been a while since i did this training course but this is just to give you a rough idea of the activities there are about two to three activities two to three tasks that you need to do in order to pass this test you don't necessarily need to be a powerful swimmer you just need to be able to stay afloat and be confident with it and not panic you know because when you start panicking it's like you don't know how to control your body and it's like you know it, it just creates a very kind of not a very good situation so we did have a couple of people who are a bit nervous who didn't feel confident in their swimming skills but they were still able to pass they were still able to save one another they were still able to get their life jacket on they were still able to get into the raft they have one of those inside the aircraft so that was kind of representing the lifeboat it was at the local swimming pool that was the time that we could get at six o'clock in the morning so that's the time we went very early in the morning we just got it done and dusted and we carried on with our day it was a very easy, nice, simple day. I mean, it was nice to kind of get away from the training center as well. So you can kind of see it as a little bit of a field trip. It was kind of fun in a way. It was a bit fun as well. So if you're worried about this swimming test, please don't be worried. It's nothing to really be stressed about. As long as you can paddle, as long as you can do the bit of a froggy swim or, you know, whatever they call it, the butterfly, the frog swim, you should be okay. As long as you can keep yourself afloat. This is really not about being the best swimmer. Being an Olympic swimmer, it's about survival. It's about being able to survive in water. Even when I did the test, I knew I could swim. I knew I wasn't a great swimmer. Like now I'm a bit better. If you aren't confident, if you aren't so confident, what you can do is you can do some practice at your swimming pool beforehand, just so you have a bit of technique, you know? Just have a bit of technique. Go to your local swimming pool, get a few swims in, one or two you should be okay you're gonna learn a lot on this training course and you learn the reason why you need to be able to pass this test okay so thank you so much for watching please do give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it if it's been helpful for you and please do subscribe if you're not already subscribed follow me on instagram and i'll see you in my next video okay bye